Welcome everybody. My name is Lynn Pearson Brown. I'm an Area 35 governor and it is my honor to be the contest chair for the Southwest Division Spring International Speech and Table Topics Contest. Thank you all for coming out in this wonderful bright spring weather we're having. <laughs> Did anybody else get mail at their house this morning? No. Caught me off guard at first. I was wondering what that was. Look out the window and you see hail. When you look at the calendar, spring? Really? Kind of caught me off guard. But I'm very happy to see you all here and I'm glad that everyone traveled safely. Right now I would like to introduce to you our Southwest Division D Governor, Chris Costigas. Welcome everyone, welcome fellow Toastmasters, honored dignitaries and guests. Welcome to the Southwest Division International Speech and Table Topics Contest. My name is Chris Casegas. I am the Southwest Division Governor. I, at this point, would like to introduce to you Iqbal Acha. Iqbal, I'm doing this in the proper order, right? I Iqbal is what will lead us to the table topics as a Toastmaster. I hope that um, all of you who are planning on watching the NCAA basketball playoffs today <laughs> will find us equally as interesting. <laughs> I gotta compete with basketball? Come on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, friends and guests, welcome to the sunny Sunday afternoon to the most skillful, the most spectacular, the most stylish division contest this side of the 294. <laughs> if there were any more awesome, we wouldn't have to call this top secret. But here in the Southwest, we are going to call it the 2015 International Speech and Table Topics Contest. My name is Iqbal Acha, and I will be your Table Topics Contest Toastmaster this afternoon. And we have a great contest in front of us. Many of you have, should have an agenda if you don't, there are still some in the back. In our audience today, we have some very bright, bold, and beautiful people. There are some that shine a little bit brighter than others only because they hold a title today. <laughs> and it is my honor and privilege to have my, the opportunity to announce them. And when I call your name, please stand and be recognized. First and foremost, we have our Lieutenant Governor of Marketing, the magnificent Melissa Newport. Esteem, the club extension chair, the jazzy Jerry Evans. <laughs> we have our Northwest Division Governor, the talented and terrific Tiffany Salika. <laughs> of course, we have our Southwest Division Governor, the composed and clever Chris Christakis. <laughs> To be outdone, we also have our Northeast Division Governor, the classy and cute Kathy Stroke. <laughs> we also have our North Division Governor. <laughs> I got this. I got the cue. We have our North Division Governor, the very knowledgeable and nice Barbara Beck. Lovely, but I don't know if your husband is in the room. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
We also have in our midst our West 71 area governor, the clever and quite gentleman like Mr. Calvin Gibbs. And finally, in our midst this eve this afternoon, we do have a past district governor, 1988 to 1989. Please give a round warm applause for Mr. Keith Essex. Human, I am prone to error. Have I missed any dignitary past or present? I came in late. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our District 30 treasurer is Helen McCullough. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, and actually, Carrie, what is your area? The 31. D31 area governor, Carrie Scott. Now, before I go any farther, I want you to all do me one big thing. Turn to your partner, whoever's sitting next to you. Smile. <laughs> Shake hands. <laughs> Show them your most prized <laughs> Somebody's reaching for her husband, and that's okay. It's fine. To our real prize. It's the one that you not it is the one that keeps us sync to the real world and the other world. For the sake of our contestants and our audience, I'm going to ask you to please turn them off. There's a slight chance they may be set to vibrate, and sometimes that vibration can be just as loud as a sound. So I'm going to lead by example, and I'm going to turn this little guy off. Very well then. As you know, we have two contests this afternoon, a Table Topics Contest and the International Speech Contest. We will begin with the Table Topics Contest, and when that contest has concluded, there will be a 10-minute break. When we return, we will begin the International Speech Contest, and Tiffany Seleka will be our contest host for the second half. As all of you know, all contestants, timers, Ballot counters, sergeant at arms, everyone that has anything to do tangentially or remotely or directly <laughs> with this contest has been briefed. Everyone is aware of the Toastmasters International Rules. No one should enter or leave the room during any of the contestants' presentations. If you do need to use the facilities or need to take a break, you are welcome to do so during that one minute of silence or after the last contestant has spoken. Thank you. And with that said, let the contest begin. <laughs> now before I give the speaking order, it's just a friendly district reminder that the video, this contest is being videotaped. And uh, if you have any questions regarding the videotape, please see Tim Bolger raising his hand. I am now going to begin by sharing with you the speaking order for the Table Topics Contest. Table Topics Contestant number one, Jill Morgenthaler. Jill Morgenthaler, Table Topics Contestant number one. Table Topics Contestant number two, Dale O'Rockton. Dale O'Brockta, Table Topics Contestant number two. Table Topics Contestant number three, David Munoz. David Munoz, Table Topics Contestant number three. Table Topics Contestant number four, Greg Lavica. Greg Lavica, Table Topics Contestant number four. Table Topics contestant number five, Roger Nelson. Roger Nelson, Table Topics contestant number five. And Table Topics contestant number six, Ruth Finkwinter. Ruth Finkwinter, 
Table Topics, Contestant Number 6. Sergeant at Arms, please escort contestants 2 through 6 outside of the room, and I will ask Table Topics, Contestant Number 1, to stand at the back. Contestant number one, Jill Morgenthal. On March 29th, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual traditions do you observe with your family, when, and why? On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family? When and why? Jill Morgan. one that I don't. Many years ago, I ran a marathon. Never, ever, ever again. It is all my love <laughs> Because at 12 miles, I went through that euphoria you get. I'm loving it. I'm running through the woods. This is great. Why didn't I ever do this sooner? At 20 miles, I hated it. And an old lady went running by me. <laughs> <laughs> and then a dog came up, sniffed me. I'm a dog lover. I wanted to kill the dog. <laughs> and I still had six miles left to go. When I finished that, I went across the finish line, I made it. And they looked at me, I was a captain in the army, and they said, Captain, you look terrible. Let us put you in a car. And I said, no, just give me drugs. <laughs> and they were horrified. So never, ever again. The family tradition that we do at my house just occurred. March 14th, Pie day. I made apple pie, I had cherry pie, and I had pizza pie. And you know what, what happens when you have those? Your adult children come home. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, if you remember, pie day was on Saturday. I got them all to go to church. And they declared that was very evil of me. <laughs> and I reminded them, hey, when I was in the Army, I was psychological operations. I know what it takes to get you home and do what I want. And that would be pie. So yes, Pi Day is my annual event. <laughs>
here or in the back? Okay. Thank you, Tyrus. Table topics, contestant number two, Dale Obrachta. On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual tradition that attracts over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family when and why? On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family? When and why? Dale O'Brien. Table Topics contestant number three, David Munoz. On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. 
What annual tradition or traditions do you observe in your family? When and why? On March 29th, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family? When and why? David Munoz. It's time to celebrate. Let's have fun together as a family. Uh, Madam Toastmaster Chair, fellow Toastmasters, and distinguished guests. Back in 1981, I was an international banker, and I traveled all over Central and South America. Travels were rough, it was a long days and long nights, and all I desired was to come back to the family. Now, fast forward 10 years later, 1991, and I am still in banking and going through a life crisis, <coughs> changes, unexpected surprises that just took me to, for a twist as a family. And I remember just wanting to settle down, just stopping the madness of traveling internationally, the corporate world, which was driving me crazy, and just getting into a routine. Ten years later, 2001, I'm a single guy looking for stability still gotten out of the corporate world, I'm on my own, and I'm saying, what is next? Quite frankly, I felt like I ran that marathon. I felt like I had gone to London and back, except in my case, it was Latin America and back. So from Miami, which I lived at the time, I relocated to Chicago, back home, which is my home, and I was looking to settle down. And at that time, I said, I am going to start a new tradition with whomever the good Lord presents in my path to settle down as a family. And I met Miss Wonderful, spitting right over there. <laughs> and one of the traditions that we hold dear every year is celebrating New Year's as a family. And that is the, the most sacred one for me. Why? Because it gives us a chance to separate ourselves from the world gather together the family, and just celebrate New Year's together right home in the central units of family every single year. That is the tradition. Thank you. Simon, may I please have one minute on the clock for the judges to complete their balance. Table Topics, contestant number four, Greg Lavica. On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. 
What annual tradition or traditions do you observe in your family? When and why? On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family? When and why? Greg Levick. Table Topics, contestant number five, Roger Nelson. <clears throat> On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family? <coughs> when and why? 
On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event, attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family? When and why? Roger Nelson. Table Topics Contestant Number 6, Ruth Finkley. On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual tradition attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family? When? 
and why. On March 29, 1981, the first ever London Marathon was run with 7,590 participants. Now, it is an annual event attracting over 30,000 participants. What annual tradition or traditions do you observe with your family? When and why? Ruth Finkley.